Okay. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Matt from Fidelity Gaming TV, and I'm sure you guys are wondering why you are seeing some Twins OOTP 16 franchise instead of some San Diego Padres MLB The Show franchise, and that is because I have made a very important decision, and if you think about it, we basically have one of everything per week, and then we have three San Diego Padres franchises. Now, what I want to do is basically take one of those away and turn it into a Twins OOTP franchise. We have two of those and two of the San Diego Padres franchises a week, which leaves, um, well, if we're having a seven day week, that leaves three other spots and that's for the two road to the shows and the challenge Wednesday. So that makes sense. Um, you don't want San Diego Padres franchise taking away everything, even though you do want to have a good amount of those. So I think that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna have Twins OOTP franchise here on Thursdays and Sundays, and we're gonna have San Diego Padres franchises on MLB The Show on Tuesdays and Saturdays. So that is that, and I'm also gonna be giving you guys two episodes of this today because we did receive a pretty good amount of support for this uh, series on the first episode that released last Sunday. Um, a lot of likes, I think we're at like 10 likes now, and um, bunch of people saying they were gonna um, well first of all a bunch of comments on it because they were interested in a bunch of people saying they were ready to go for the next episode so that is exactly what we're gonna be doing this episode we are just gonna be doing some more prospects um, overviews because I did get into the roster for our team but I really wanted to go into our farm system and look at the prospects more in depth and then the next episode which will also be today on Thursday that will have opening day. So let's go ahead and get started with the prospects. Also, one quick thing before we do get started with the prospects, um, I did receive a comment saying basically to put the pictures in for all the players and stuff like that. I have not had a chance to get that done, but I promise you um, after today's two episodes, hopefully we will get that going. And when we click on a player, we will have their real life picture instead of just a um, animated picture. So. Don't worry, next, um, well I guess on Sunday, you will see some of those real pictures. Now, let's get to the prospects. All right, so we all know who this guy is. Byron Buxton, number one prospect in the Twins organization, farm system, and number one rated on MLB.com's prospect list for all of baseball. Five star potential rating, one star overall, but that's just because he's not in the big leagues, that's okay. His defensive ratings are fantastic. Look at all of that, that just speaks for itself. Offensive ratings are pretty good. Very good yeah, power, pretty good contact, and also decent home run power. And other ratings like speed and stealing and base running, those are all very good. So I'm really excited to call him up. Not going to call him up right away. Hopefully we can call him up before the All-Star break, but definitely in this season we're going to call him up. And you can see his stats in A. He hit 341 in 2013 with that team, and then 326 with the other. Then um, last year with A, he hit 240. Um, but you can see... It's just ridiculous. 55 RBIs, 22 RBIs, uh, a lot of walks, and uh, stolen bases, pretty good amount of stolen bases. Um, homers, not too many. Like I said, home run power isn't like amazing. That's not what we're getting him for. We're getting him for his speed and his gap power and also his defensive ratings. So, um, and then we did call him up for, to AA last year, late last year, I believe, but he went 0 for 3 in one game. So basically, he's gonna be starting the year in AAA. That's fine, that's where we want him. This is basically the closest he's gonna get to the big leagues without going to the big leagues. So we will see, and um, definitely am excited to call him up. Okay, next biggest prospect in the farm system for the Twins, Miguel Sano. Now, when they said we needed an upgrade at third base, this will basically count as our upgrade. I don't think we're going to be needing to trade for anyone, as Miguel Sano is almost ready to come up as well. I'd say maybe the end of this year, or maybe next year, if not this year. So we'll see. Also, a five-star potential rating. One star overall rating. Um, offensively, is pretty good. His home run power is very good. Um, I, I th the thing is, when you look at Byron Buxton, he has really good everything, and he has a five star. So you almost expect every five star to look like that. He is not as good of a prospect as Byron Buxton, but he's definitely a good prospect. So um, that's why uh, I don't think we drafted him. Did we draft him? I'm not sure if we drafted him. I can't remember. If you do know, please let me know. Um, but yeah, he came from the, Dom well, he's Dominican, but yeah, I can't see anything about him being drafted. I'm not sure if he drafted him or he got him from, um, international free agency. Um, but we'll see. 
yeah, prospects, very good. Um, last year in double A, he hit 236. The year before in A, he hit 330. Just all around good play from him. He's definitely getting called up um, within the next season, I would say, um, or within the next year. So whether it's at the beginning of next year or at the end of this year, he's going to get called up. So this is our third baseman of the future, Miguel Sano. Really one of our best starting pitcher prospects here is Jose Barrios. And he is a four-star potential starting pitcher in double-A as well with a half-star overall. Um, his stuff is pretty good, though. Um, and I, Not just this stuff, but all of his stuff. Curveball, fastball control, all of this stuff is very good. Um, his potential is even better. Um, he'll be pretty good. Like I said, not amazing. He's only a four-star uh, potential, but basically that's like a B rating. And uh, he's doing pretty good. Last year in triple-A, uh, what is this? It doesn't look too good. His ERA was 18. That was through one game, though, so we had one bad game. But in Double A, he went um, three and four with a three five six or three five four ERA. The year before in A, he did very good, nine and three with a one a nine six ERA. So hopefully he can um, have a good year in Triple A this year. We'll see though. And that is it for Jose Barrios. Finally, we got a shortstop prospect here. We got Jorge Polanco. You see his defensive ratings are very good, which is what you want from a shortstop. Also, typical shortstop stuff. Pretty good with base running and speed. He's a four-star potential, one-star overall. His batting isn't the best, but it's still going to be pretty good if it can reach its full potential. Um, he actually did get called up a little bit in the MLB last year. Uh, he's in Double A right now, but we'll, I don't know if we're going to call him up right away. We just kind of we don't want to call everyone up right away. We just kind of want to make sure they're all ready and then call him up just to get them uh, more seasoned, I guess. You can see he was only up for seven days in the MLB, but. Um, what did he go? He hit 333, which is pretty good through five games. Um, and then in A, he hit 308. In AA, he hit 281. So he is also pretty good. Uh, most likely a shortstop for the future. We'll have to see, though, as he has a four-star potential rating. Of course, right as I say that, we look at Nick Gordon, who is also a shortstop prospect. He's a five-star potential. Really good defensive rating. He's even better. Really good speed and very good or hopefully very good um, batting ratings as far as contact and gap he's not going to hit home runs but again you don't really expect shortstops to do that so uh, i think we just drafted him or maybe last year or the year before because he's 19 um, but he's definitely probably our long-term solution um, at shortstop but he's going to take a while to get here he's 19 years old he's going to take multiple years so um, i think what we're going to do is put barrios in there and or sorry, not Barrios, Polanco in there. I was just thinking Barrios is a starting pitcher, but Polanco is going to go in there um, probably soon, and we'll stay in there. We'll see what we can do with him. I don't know. Maybe we'll trade him. I don't know. Maybe we'll trade Gordon. I don't even know, but Gordon looks like to be the better shortstop prospect, so definitely um, in three, four years, we'll definitely take a big consideration and uh, maybe bring him up to the majors, but for now, he's going to stay in the minors, and we're going to have Polanco at shortstop. Another four-star pitching prospect. We got another starting pitcher. This one is Cole Stewart. You can see his pitching uh, ratings are pretty good already, and his um, potentials can get even better. His changeup's not the best, but that's all right. Um, really, I mean, hopefully he can turn out just to be a decent guy. We don't even need him to be an ace. He just has to be decent. You can see last year in A, he went uh, three and five with a 2.59 ERA. And that was really the only time he got. He's 20 years old, so he hasn't got too much action. But uh, we will see as hopefully he can just turn out to be a pretty decent player for us in our rotation maybe um, in the future. He's 20 years old, so maybe we'll give him a few more years, two, three years, to pan out and see what he can get as he's only a half-star overall rating right now. We do have a left field prospect here in Lee Win Diaz, I believe, or Lewin, or Lee Win. I'm not sure, but he is a left fielder. He is a four and a half star potential rating with a half star overall currently. His defensive ratings are pretty good, not the best, but they're pretty good, um, decent, and his speed is okay. Um, he's a really good hitter though, as far as home runs go, and he can hit some decent balls in the gap. Right now, his ratings aren't really selling this four and a half star potential. But if they can uh, go up a little bit, that would be good. Um, in the rookie league last year, he hit 257 with five homers, 27 RBIs, and that was in 144 at bats. So that is interesting to see um, how he turns out. I don't know if he'll be amazing or not, but he can definitely be a piece in the left field for us in the future. You can see, though, we just drafted him. He's 18 years old, 
and he's definitely going to take it like probably like four years to get going and to be considered for the major league roster all right so that is it for this video don't worry there is another video coming out today with some actual gameplay and by gameplay i mean simulation gameplay but uh opening day is coming up here against the tigers and basically um yeah this team is maybe not right now looking that good we still have some pieces in the majors right now that are very good um that will be built around with these prospects but this twins farm system is amazing guys it really is um, you look at the Astros you look at the Cubs this twins farm system is right up there with the best and hopefully here within I like I said we have five years um, to make the playoffs so we don't have to make the playoffs right away which is good so hopefully um, you know obviously if we make the playoffs that's that's a plus but we're not making looking to make the playoffs we're looking to kind of build our team around these prospects that are going to come up and hopefully fill in those extra holes and then go for the playoffs. So we're not going to be able to make the playoffs or at least expect to make the playoffs for the next three years. All those guys that we just uh, went over may not even be the starters. We're just looking at them as prospects. So when I say um, good potential, that doesn't mean we're going to call them up in three years. That just means that um, best case scenario, we can call them up in three years as they would live up to their potential. So we'll have to see though, like I said, Twins Farm System is in very good shape. And if we can keep adding those pieces and bring them up within the next three years, that'd be good. And then our team will be very good. Um, as far as trades go, I don't even think we have to make too many trades. We just kind of, it's like a waiting game right now in Minnesota. And I think the fans have bought into that. This is a huge rebuild. It has been done right. And, um, you know, I think that if we continue to season our prospects in the farm systems, then we can bring them up and the rebuild will be completed within about three years. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, this is not the last episode for today. We do have another one with opening day and then we have another episode on Sunday. So you guys wanted some more of this. You got some more and I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to go ahead and smash that like button and comment what you think of the team down below. And uh, I will see you guys in the next episode today. Opening day. Again, like the video. Make sure to subscribe. And as always... Peace. Yeah.